Hey guys, this is Axo here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this video, we'll be exploring Until Dawn dialogues from clues, as well as secret dialogues most people missed. These dialogues are caused by finding certain clues, or no clues at all. Some are incredibly rare, and no one has even made a video exploring all of them, despite the game being out for 6 years. There was one YouTuber called Tesseract Heart 2 that posted some of them originally years ago, which inspired me to go explore the game to find more. Now it's taken me years of procrastinating and forgetting these clips even existed to actually make this video. I've had these clips for 3 to 4 years, and since no one has made a video like this, I'll be the one to finally do it. So let's start off with the first cutscene where the characters discuss the clues in Chapter 3 with Chris and Ashley. Now there are two separate variations of this cutscene, one where you find at least two clues, and one where you only find one, which is mandatory to get. All the clues are found in chapters 1, 2, and 3, and the variation with at least two clues, the beginning of the cutscene, and the end are the exact same. But finding more than two clues extends the middle part, as they discuss every other clue you found. Now there's another cutscene or two like this later in the video, which I will talk about. And the other variation of this cutscene is only them talking about the wanted poster Chris saw with Sam, which the game doesn't let you avoid. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? Well, n no, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I, I mean, it, it's possible. Well, what? Okay, anything is possible. Just keep your eyes peeled, okay? If you see something, say something. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who just got out of prison and there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And, and then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Next is in Chapter 6 with Chris and Ashley as well, and this one has three variations. One where you find no clues, one where you only find the fake newspapers, and one where you find the fake newspapers and the hidden camera, both of which can be obtained in the same chapter. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all of this. What do you mean? What just doesn't add up. What doesn't add up? Any of this, the, the psycho, all this crazy stuff going on down here. I just, I feel like we've missed something. Something that'll make it all connect. Uh, I know what you mean, but I mean, <laughs> who knows what that would be? Yeah, I guess you're right. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all this. What do you mean? Well, I just, I can't shake the feeling that those fake newspapers have something to do with the guy who killed Josh. Wait, wait like, like what? Like it's a setup or something? Yeah, but I mean, how? It's just, it almost makes sense, but it just feels like we're missing something. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all of this. What do you mean? So we're saying that the same guy who made the newspapers also set up the camera, right? Yeah, I, I think so. It's just, it feels like he's constructing this whole story for us, then 
watching us run around, freaking out, seeing what we do. Like it's like it's some sort of fucking experiment. Yikes, that, that's kind of, <laughs> yeah, that actually makes a weird sort of sense. Right? The next one is in Chapter 7 with Sam, once she meets up with Mike. Now this one also has two variations, but both are more complicated. This cutscene also involves clues from the same chapter. One variation is if you don't find Josh's cell phone, but find the Remembrance Board, the Death Machine plans, or both. And the other variation is if you find Josh's cell phone. This variation plays even if you find the other two clues. guy who you're talking about he attacked me he showed me these videos too and one of them showed josh being killed just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade jesus christ i think he's living down here and whoever the hell he is he's obsessed with hannah and beth god damn but here's the crazy thing i found these plants like blueprints for a crazy machine just like the one josh was in but it was fake it was for a dummy. Hey, Sam, slow down. Josh might not be dead. What the fuck is... Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos too. And one of them showed Josh being killed. Just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ. And like, I think somehow Josh is involved in all of this. Wait, what? How? I'm really not sure, but... There was a message from his doctor, and it mentioned a plan that was like a bad idea, and now he's dead. What the fuck is going on? This next cutscene plays minutes after the last one, with Sam confronting Josh about his scheming plans. There are two variations for this as well. One way you find none of the clues in this chapter, or get caught by the psycho, and the other if you find all the clues. To play the puppet master. To, to all of your Pavlovian panic. <laughs> and all that gore? Gore, it was gore galore. Fake bodies. I mean, God, that shit was expensive. And no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you should have seen your faces. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. <laughs> Josh, why are you doing this? Yeah, don't even ask this squirrely little runt. He's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. He's definitely off his meds. Oh, come on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done. M Mike, he's sick. What? Come on, you guys are all gonna thank me when you guys become internet sensations. Wait, what, what? Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got unrequited love. We got, we got blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China to, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking about, you asshat? Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. Josh, your fingerprints were all over this. It was obviously you. Oh, really? Really, really, really? You're crying out for help, Josh. God, you wanted to get caught, didn't you? Oh, sure. I'm totally just crying out for help. Help me. Oh, help me, help, help. Come on. Come on, it was just for fun. I mean, so you got a little bit of egg on your face, right? Nobody got hurt. What are you talking about, you ass? This next one is a big one, in chapter eight with Emily as she meets up with the rest of the cast. This one has at least five variations, and all of them are dependent on which clues you find and which ones you don't and finding nothing skips the scene altogether. Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh god, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like, way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And, and then it, it was Matt and me down there, and... Oh god, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? How? Emily, what happened? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and I... Oh god, I think 
God, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? Ow. Emily, what happened? There's something else. I found this little, like, it was almost like a camp with these marks on the wall, and I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think they survived the fall, but something happened on this one specific day. What? And, and the marks, they, there was a date last year, the day they disappeared. Listen, in, in the tower, there was, there was a radio, and, and I, oh God, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? Ow. Emily, what happened? There's something else. I found this little, like, it, it was almost like a camp, and this little broken wooden cross, and it, it had, it had Beth's name on it. I think they fell down there, and, and I think Beth died from the fall. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, poor Beth. Listen, in, in the tower, there was... There... Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I, I'm trying to tell you. The cable car was not an option, so we went for the fire tower. And, and then there was a blizzard, and these deer attacked us. They just came right out of nowhere. You gotta be kidding. And one of them went for Matt. There's something else. I found some things, but not enough to piece it all together. What'd you find? Well, Matt and I, we, we found Beth's phone. That, that could, that could mean anything. Yeah, I mean, maybe it fell down sometime when she was out on the mountain. No. Or... I found this little, like, it, it was almost like a camp. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, in, in the tower, we were climbing up the tower and it, it fell, the whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, 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 what mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand, the tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh it. my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. <sighs> That's horrible. Listen, in, in the tower... What's weird about these scenes is that some of them have broken facial animations or weird lighting meaning these scenes either weren't tested or were forgotten due to how rare they are. Next is one that occurs later on in Chapter 8 with Mike. He talks about the clues related to the miners in the sanatorium. Now there's two variations, one like the first cutscene with Chris and Ashley, where it only needs one or more and the rest just extends the scene, and the other variation is if you don't find any clues. Now the cutscene is the same even if Emily is dead, just with a different camera angle and her line is gone. Old guy's bag. Is that a map? That guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There was all this, like, crazy shit. Like cages and weapons and wolves. Yeah, fucking wolves. You sure you weren't at a truck stop? I'm just saying, it's weird. What's weird is that there's a place. Oh my god. Wait, 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 what is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There had been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And. I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's- Next is two variations of Sam and Mike's beginning chapter 10 cutscene. One variation is if Mike finds the case study does the air, and the other is if he doesn't find it. Now what's interesting is that the second variation prevents the characters from talking much after the scene. Meanwhile with the first variation, they occasionally talk to each other till they reach the door at the end of the water. I was not prepared for how ugly that thing would be up close. Yeah. So, 
I noticed something kind of weird about it. Uh, what? The Wendigo. It had a scar. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. I'm kidding. One of the miners who'd been trapped back in the 50s in the cave-in, which means that thing is 80 years old. At least. Spunky for an old-timer. They cleaned the place out. Killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Oh, yeah. How many? Too many. Yeah. Maybe a miner. Maybe someone who worked in the sanatorium. There was so much weird shit happening up there that wouldn't even begin to surprise me. What kind of weird shit? Someone was capturing the Wendigos. Had them all tied up in these restraints. I saw some real fucked up shit. Wow. I must have just let them all out when I blew the place up. Huh. Smooth move. Finally, this last cutscene happens just moments after the last one, where Sam and Mike find Hannah's journal, showing Hannah's descent into cannibalism. Now this cutscene is different depending on if you find Beth's watched in the grave just moments before this, or miss it. Oh god, it makes sense. I think Hannah dug up Beth. It was Hannah. No, that's, that's ridiculous. Michael, it has to be. Only thing that makes sense. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried her. God damn it. God damn it. Hannah was down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. She would have been desperate. Fuck! We need to find Josh. Right now. So, so what? What does that mean? Did she kill her too? Her own sister? I, I don't know. How the hell could they even stay alive down here? I don't know, Michael. There has to be an answer down here. Mike, just calm down. Now this is just a bonus while playing through the game. This dialogue of finding the strangest cigar in Chapter 5 is different depending on if you find the cigar stub in Chapter 2. Stash exposed. And that's all the dialogues and secret scenes I have. Did I miss some? Do let me know in the comments below and I might make a part 2 if there's enough secret clue scenes that I missed. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it as informative as I possibly could. Thanks for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneezed during this video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I truly hope this helped cheer you up in some way. And yeah, see everybody.